It's been a relatively calm fire season in the Bay Area, but forest managers aren't breathing a sigh of relief quite yet. They know the potential for disaster is still there, and the East Bay Regional Parks District offered a tour today to show off the remarkable machines that they've been using to lessen the danger. And our John Remus got a look. Man's technology created the climate change that is fueling our wildfire danger, and now technology is being put to work to try to manage it. The East Bay Regional Parks District is the largest in the nation, with more than 125,000 acres backing up to many Bay Area cities. So managers were alarmed when, in 2020, they noticed a huge die-off of trees in the forest. We realized that we had basically an emergency, a public safety emergency, because we had dead and dying trees all due to climate change um, that we needed to deal with. And we had to start thinking outside of the box and thinking of new and innovative ways to be able um, to process that. The result is a massive fuel reduction project now ongoing in Chabot Regional Park. 365 acres of eucalyptus forest is being thinned out. We're spacing out and leaving the larger trees Taking out the vast majority of these smaller trees, they present uh, far more fire risk than the larger trees. To do that, they employ a state-of-the-art machine called a harvester. It cuts smaller trees off at the base, strips all the foliage off of it, and snips it into uniform-sized logs, all in one operation. Then comes the forwarder, which picks up the stripped logs and loads them into a truck for transport down to the staging area, where they're stacked into huge piles. The two machines work in tandem and automatically keep track of what has been removed. Takes it down, moves it through the feeders, it's scaling it, getting the volume of that tree so then you could get the tonnage which feeds into the overall project. We know how much tonnage and volume is there based on what was removed from the field. But it doesn't stop there. After thinning, the forest floor is covered with leaves, branches and smaller debris. So in comes a machine called the Masticator. Hundreds of carbide teeth chew up the material, creating a light, shredded mulch that makes the forest floor look clean and tidy. And really does leave us with a nice, you know, beautiful end product, really. Something that'll probably break down over time a lot faster than wood chips. But finally, what do you do with the thousands of tons of eucalyptus trunks that are not suitable for lumber? It's unfeasible to truck it to the nearest cogeneration energy plant near Sacramento, so the district has brought in the Carbonator, a huge mobile incinerator that shoots air down into the burn chamber. Here's what one looks like in operation, burning so completely that smoke cannot even escape. It leaves only a light carbon product known as biochar that has value as a soil amendment for farms and areas experiencing landslides. The scale of the project is massive, and we hope that our successes and the things that we've learned um, will help embolden our community and really pave the way for other government agencies to follow in our footsteps. Necessity is the mother of invention, and the need to prevent more disasters is giving birth to innovation in forest management. And the East Bay Regional Parks District hopes it can inspire others to think outside the box. We all just learned so much from John's story, too. Thank you, John. The East Bay Parks Project being funded by a $10 million direct appropriation from the state budget to develop long-term solutions to wildfire using sustainable tools. I learned a lot there, Paul. Did you?